Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to EMC. Today, I am in the Lamborghini LP570 Superleggera. I'm gonna drive around town, Taipei City, tell you guys what I like and what I don't like about this car. Let's fucking go. This car is amazing. I mean, it's a thrill to drive. It gives me adrenaline rushes, but it's very quirky. It's got a lot of issues and problems here and there. The Italians, man, you know? When the Italians mixed with the Germans get together, they make some crazy shit. But there's a lot of things I love and a lot of things I hate. Um, and I think it's best to tell it while I'm driving this car just around town. And when I think about it as a daily, because that is when all the issues come up. But let's talk about the things that I don't like, all right? W which is a lot. Uh, let's start with the seating position, okay? Uh, look at this. I mean, this is, I have the EMC pillow right here. Now, this is very important because I'm actually sitting a little bit forward because the headroom, there's not much headroom, all right? I'm 188 centimeters, I'm six foot two, I have to sit very forward, and this is already to the very far back. Um, and then if I just sit upright, as you can tell, if I put my butt back and I sit upright, yeah, then this, no good. It's kind of annoying. For daily cars, you're gonna need a good sound system, right? And you're gonna need um, a, a better head unit than the OEM head unit, which is what I did. I got a new head unit that uses Android, but then it can also hook up with my CarPlay, uh, Bluetooth, and play good music. Um, I took the panels off, I put in new speakers. Uh, I also got a sub. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't really turn around because the seats. But yeah, I got a new sub right here. I did not make a new enclosure because of the harness bar right here. Um, therefore, we couldn't get a, you know, like another enclosure going on right here, like a, like a custom box but this does the job, it's fine. And yeah, if you guys are looking into this car, I suggest you getting one of these. Touchscreen, great. Change out the speakers. The normal speakers were horrible. They were horrendous. So there's a couple other little things like, you know, inside the car about the ergonomic designs that I really don't like. Um, this is an infamous one, which is the window button. Okay, so it's inversed. If you want to, you know, roll the windows down, you have to go up. See? So if you want the windows up, you got to press it down. Like I said, this is what happens when you mix Italians and German engineering together and voila, boom. That's what happens. Uh, and also, if you're in reverse, the button is here on the very left side. Oh shit, my bad, I pressed it. <laughs> Oops. You have to get used to it. It's just weird. Another thing that I don't like is when I get gas. Uh, there's a gasoline button here, okay? You have to turn the car off entirely and take out the key and then press it. And then the lid will pop up. It's just an interesting thing talking about gas. It's not like what I don't like or like. It's just that the gasoline meter, the gas meter, uh, it says Benzina. It's, it's Italian, Benzina. I, mean, I guess that's like a cool feature. It doesn't say gas or gasoline. It just says Benzina. Yeah, so the other problem that I have with this car is that, see, I have to uh, put my phone, like, I guess here in this compartment. Uh, but the problem is that, you know, this gets in the way of things. And uh, I have to go back like this to get it. They have no cup holders. Um, sometimes I just leave my phone on my lap or around my crotch or, you know, just like, like here. But it's just awkward. There's no... There's no little panel or little thingy here. 
Yeah, so it, it's not the most ergonomic design car for the interior. Uh, but like I said, it's a track oriented car, so you don't really think about those things. But overall, I just have to be honest, this is not a daily car. I would not recommend this car to be your daily car. But this is a hell of a fucking fun car. And when you really want to drive, you know, it's, it's a fun drive. It is so fast. Every day when I take this car out, when I get out of my garage, it is a pain in the ass. One, uh, it's too low. That's not entirely Lamborghini's design problems. I did change to a new front bumper, but that's also not Darwin Pro's problem. I think it's a beautiful front bumper. Uh, but I did lower the car a little bit with the KW suspension. It's just not easy to get in and out of garages with uh, slight angles. So you have to drive it, you know, uh, at an angle going up and you need to use the front lift. And, you know, just talking about service and maintenance and problems with the car, the AC got really warm and we're in the middle of summer, as you can tell. I am wearing the new EMC tank tops. You know, these are back. I love these. It's summertime, it's hot. They go well with everything, all right? I'm sorry this is a shameless plug-in, but you know, we've got the EMC logo right here. And you know, it's summer body time. You know, you gotta flex a little bit. No, but seriously, these are super in style now again. Uh, these come in black and white. So go get yours, link below. But the AC, you know, we gotta put more coolant in and they said there was a little leak, so they had to fix that. And I was misfiring. So I had to change out all of the spark plugs, the coil packs and everything. So the brakes, you know, uh, it was just, before I changed the brake pads, they were a little bit on the soft side. So with the new brake pads, you know, after I wore them in, they do feel like they bite a little more, but these are older ceramic brakes. So older ceramic brakes, you kind of need to warm them up for them to really bite. And the drive, okay. So the drive is very interesting. You really got to get used to this geek gear. Um, and, and I am always in Corsa. So the guys that are in auto or sport mode, I guess they drive a little bit more like a Gallardo. Uh, however, I think that the Corsa mode, the shifts are crisper, the shifts are faster, and I actually prefer the Corsa mode while I'm city driving. The Lamborghini owners who have had the Superleggeros or the Super Trofeos and, and all these cars, they always tell me it's kind of like a manual where you let go of the gas pedal for like that split second and then you shift and then you stomp on the gas pedal again like really fast. However, I have to admit, it does get tiresome and it does get annoying when there's traffic in the city. The stop and go and every time it just the car just pulls you forward and then it rolls back like, like that. See, um, and you know we could get these grandmas just looking too. It's like, oh. <laughs> so, overall. I did spend a lot of money fixing up this car. Uh, I had to service it, you know, I had to fix a lot of small problems. And I also had to get a rear skeleton that is within the rear bumper. Uh, because of the heat from the rear engine, uh, you know, and all the plastic parts over time and with age, they kind of disintegrate. So those are all the little things that I had to put money into and hopefully the AC will hold and everything else is good. And you know, I rewrapped the steering wheel because the old Alcantara was gross, disgusting. It was just wearing out and uh, I could feel like other people sweat on it and that was just kind of gross. Anyway, it is a great car. It is a great car to drive and it is super fast. It sounds so ridiculously good, but I have to be honest, it is not a good daily driver. It's not very comfortable. It doesn't drive well on, on, on daily city roads. Uh, it turns a lot of heads. If you're shallow like me, you know, you'll get tons of attention, which is amazing. It makes me smile, makes me happy, gives me that warm fuzzy feeling. Yeah, I'm shallow, sorry, but uh, overall, 
I would not recommend this car as a daily driver. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one, hopefully in the mountain roads with this car. We'll do some proper driving. And yeah, we will stay within the double yellow lines. Don't worry, chill out guys. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, go get your tank tops. And the gym shorts are back.